don't let that bother you. Okay. Own, Move it a little bit. Is it okay? Yep. All right. Ah, wherever. Stand up by me. What the heck? You're a little right. bit closer, Pat. Stand yeah. on the, the concrete, please. One, seven, eight, one, I'll be Just makes my shot look a lot okay. fuller. <laughs> All right. All right. Whenever you're, uh, are you ready for me? All right. So on Friday, June 30th, at approximately 8.30 p.m., the Vernon County Sheriff's Office received a report of a residential break-in. Uh, the residence is a uh, single-family uh, dwelling or home uh, located along County Road F, as in Frank, uh, just north of the city of uh, Hillsborough here located in the town or township of Hillsboro in Vernon County. Uh, immediately one of my deputies uh, responded and he was close by and based on some initial reports he conducted a traffic stop uh, near Mount Tabor which is in uh, rural Kendall, Wisconsin, still in Vernon County. And uh, the operator of that vehicle was uh, extremely cooperative, allowed us to search the vehicle. Uh, none of the stolen property was found in that vehicle and uh, that uh, person is being ruled out as a suspect. At approximately 9 p.m. on Friday, uh, the deputy arrived back at the bur burglary scene and due to the uh, very uh, complex uh, nature of the case, um, I uh, called out one of my criminal investigators and she uh, responded immediately. The interior of the uh, home that was uh, burglarized or broken into uh, was under uh, renovation and temporarily vacant, but the exterior of the home um, was not being renovated. So it looked like an ordinary home from the outside. Uh, it was determined that the perpetrator or perpetrators uh, forced entry into the home through a window. Uh, the victim reported that the uh, residence was last known secure at 3 p.m. on Friday. So uh, the crime occurred sometime between 3 p.m. on Friday and uh, 8.30 p.m. when we received the call. The uh, victim reported numerous uh, Milwaukee brand power tools uh, were stolen, eight firearms, and several thousand rounds of ammunition, along with miscellaneous items, and some of those items having uh, sentimental uh, value were all missing from the home. While the investigation continued, the home was secured late Friday night, uh, early Saturday morning, and surveillance cameras were uh, deployed. On Saturday, July 1st, at approximately 6.45 p.m., the victim called the sheriff's office to report the home was entered a second time. This time, forced entry was through a door. More items were reported missing, and the same deputy sheriff uh, responded that uh, responded on Friday evening. The uh, deputy quickly obtained uh, photos uh, from the surveillance cameras. And I released those photos to you folks, as well as the public through my social media. And uh, to date, we've had over a, a thousand shares to that uh, post. And I want to thank you folks. Uh, I want to thank the public and, and you folks for helping us get the word out. As well as the photos of the suspect, um, we received photos of the uh, suspect vehicle. On Monday, July 3rd, at approximately 10 a.m., my office received a uh, tip about a vehicle similar to the photos uh, that was for sale in the city of Toma. 
I did uh, some work on that, and I personally responded to Toma on Monday afternoon and requested the assistance of the uh, Toma Police Department. So on Monday at approximately 3 p.m., the suspect was vehicle. The suspect vehicle was located on Edgewood Avenue in the city of Toma, and some of the uh, stolen uh, property was recovered. Um, I summoned my same criminal investigator up to Toma to work with myself and the uh, Toma Police Department. The uh, <clears throat> That contact led to the arrest of Blaze, B-L-A-Z-E, Wesley, W-E-S-L-Y, Rouse, R-O-U-S-E, age uh, 30 of Toma. He was initially booked in for possession of stolen property, but as the, uh, as the case moved forward, we were able to tie him to the burglary, and he was subsequently booked into the Vernon County Jail for burglary. Deputies, along with uh, my investigator and an investigator from Toma Police, um, he actually came back out after he had gone home to assist us throughout the entire evening when we uh, worked throughout the whole evening, the whole night, into the next morning, and the Milwaukee power tools were recovered in the city of Toma. The investigation continued throughout Monday night and early Tuesday morning, July 4th, a search warrant obtained through Vernon County Circuit Court uh, was executed at a residence in the city of Toma with the assistance of the Monroe County Combined Tactical Unit as well as the Toma Police Department and several of my deputies and my criminal investigator. That search resulted in the arrest of Joseph Daniel Trumbull, T-R-U-M-B-L-E, age 39, of Toma. That search warrant also resulted in the arrest of Dustin Allen, A-L-L-E-N, Lee, L-E-E, -E, Sprague, S-P-R-A-G-U-E, age 33, also of Toma, Wisconsin. I'll give you both of, uh, hold all three of them up. Why don't you go ahead and hold the other two up. So on Wednesday, July 5th, yesterday, a bail hearing was held in Vernon County Circuit Court. Rouse and Sprague are being held on a $5,000 cash bond, and Trumbull was released on a $3,000 signature bond. All three individuals are due back in Vernon County Circuit Court on August 2nd at 8.30 a.m., and formal charges, of course, will be sought through Vernon County District Attorney, excuse me, Attorney uh, Timothy J. Gaskell. Um, the investigation continued throughout yesterday, July 5th. And with some very, very hard work, tenacity, just plain old bulldog mentality, by 4.30 p.m., all eight firearms were recovered. And once they're properly documented, will be returned to the owner. We could not have done this without the assistance of the public, of the news media. The Toma Police Department were 
instrumental, as well as our colleagues with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, just most of all for the public of taking this serious and sharing the information, as well as the news media. You've all been very good. I will uh, entertain uh, any questions uh, you have. A formal press release? Right here, awesome. you can take pictures of it. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, you can share that. And it can be emailed out as well. Okay. Um, the value of the stolen property, we're looking at about $11,000. And most of that has been recovered. Um, right now, we're still looking for the ammunition. And we're, uh, we did receive a tip today on uh, some of that ammunition being turned in, but just a very small amount. I think some folks are running scared right now, thinking that more arrests could be forthcoming. So how did these, all these individuals know each other? What was the relationship between them? Uh, we are not sure about that, uh, Tim. Uh, they were uh, not really known to us at all, but they were known to the uh, Toma Police Department. And it is my understanding that with the work that was done Monday through yesterday, I believe three new uh, drug cases have been opened in the uh, city of Toma. So any further charges there would probably be through uh, Monroe County. Any idea why they picked this particular location to, or? So I'm glad you asked. Um, I do not know, and that is a, uh, an important question. And I would like to show uh, photos of the uh, suspect vehicle to everyone. Um, I'm going to show you the, uh, the suspect vehicle photos here because we are continuing to uh, ask for the public's assistance. So you asked the question, why Hillsboro? Uh, why Toma to Hillsboro? Um, there's a good chance that uh, there could be other victims out there that have not come forward. That's a Chevrolet Avail um, in some light. It appears light blue. Um, the title lists it as silver or aluminum. So we, uh, we are continuing to investigate uh, what led them to Hillsboro. Uh, did they pick this out of the blue? I, I'm not sure, and that investigation continues. I just met with, I met with the detectives, my detectives this morning, and uh, the uh, Toma police uh, detective, I met with him last evening in Toma, um, more or less to thank him for dropping whatever, I'm sure they're busy in Toma, he dropped what he was doing to help us, to help our community, which helps the Hillsboro, Elroy area here. Um, and I just uh, am so grateful for their assistance. This was a team effort. Um, this could not have been done by any one officer. It, uh, it took everyone involved. Um, but it also underscores the importance and need for the, the public's assistance. We need more eyes and ears out there. And as sheriff, it is, uh, it is my promise to be as transparent as I possibly can, hence uh, the reason for this uh, news conference that uh, you patiently waited for me today. Thank you. You're Liz, right? Thank you. Quick question for you. This is somewhat out of the norm for rural Wisconsin. Has there been a heightened crime in Hillsboro, a heightened crime in Vernon County? Uh, I would say no. Um, often, often property crimes feed the drug habit. And as I mentioned earlier, because of this investigation, Toma police opened three more drug cases. So uh, there again, property crimes feed the drug habit. And it is one of my ultimate goals to rid 
the illicit fentanyl from this county. Part of the reason for my delay today was the execution of a search warrant, a drug-related search warrant right here in Vernon County in the Viroqua area um, that involves multiple other uh, jurisdictions. And uh, as soon as I can report on that, I will uh, do so. To answer your question, no, I do not see a, uh, a rise uh, in criminal activity in Hillsboro, but we all need to be working together every day to keep it that way. And I want to give a huge shout out to Chief Pat Clark of the Hillsboro Police Department. Um, often uh, Chief Clark and his staff um, will respond to uh, incidents uh, before we can get there if we're tied up on the other end of the county. Um, we work very closely uh, with Chief Clark and uh, the Hillsboro Police Department. We couldn't do what we do without uh, his support and the uh, support of the uh, citizens of the uh, city of Hillsboro and the surrounding areas. Um, Chief Clark has also been um, instrumental in some of uh, the areas of technology that we now use to uh, better network, communicate, and fight crime. Uh, the most recent incident was uh, a countywide uh, computer-aided dispatch and records management system. Uh, it is our goal that all police agencies in Vernon County will be on that same system so we can share information. And uh, we're getting close uh, to reaching that goal. Chief Clark was one of the very first to uh, buy into that system. And uh, I will uh, open it up to any comments you might have about that system, Pat. Oh, I've, I, I appreciate that. But it's been well received by everybody that's gotten on it. And I thank you for helping as well. It's all instrumental in the communication and everybody being on one system. So. What this means is uh, Westby Police Department might have a phone number for someone that we do not. And just not having a phone number might be the difference between solving a crime or not. And last, if you could pull my Crime Stopper card out, um, I am the uh, secretary and the assistant police coordinator for Vernon County Crime Stoppers. And uh, Crime Stoppers... Uh, they uh, they help us solve a lot of crimes here in Vernon County. Chief Clark is, Clark is also an avid uh, supporter of uh, of Crime Stoppers, and the best way to contact Crime Stoppers is p3tips.com, and you can remain anonymous and submit a tip. What what my hope is that uh, the citizens realize that. How small they think their information is could be the last piece of a 7,000 piece puzzle that you need to complete the project. So I uh, want to promote Crime Stoppers every step of the way. Uh, one more question. It might be in the press release. but So the homeowner or the property owner was not living at the property when these... Burglaries occurred, or the uh, home was uh, was temporarily vacant and under renovation on the interior, so it was gutted. Well, there was um, nobody there. Nobody there. It was gutted, but he was keeping a close watch on it. And uh, I've enjoyed. Uh, we don't ever want to see anyone become a victim, uh, but our victim. Uh, had come from the West Coast, and he was uh, so impressed with uh, the local response and the local level of support in this uh, community. He's a native of the uh, Hillsboro area, uh, but spent a lot of time on the West Coast. Thanks. All right, thank you. Thank you all. Thanks for making the trip, Tim. Thank you.